In today's video, we're going to talk about PyTest reports. In particular, we're going to talk about two types of reports that you can generate, HTML and JSON. So first, let's talk about HTML. So this is a plug uh, plugin for PyTest that allows you to generate attractive and comprehensive HTML reports for your test runs. These reports are easy to share and review, providing a clear summary of test results along with detailed information about each test case. So some advantages of using HTML reports is first is enhanced readability. HTML reports are more visually appealing and easier to read compared to plain text or JSON reports. The report includes colors, tables, and formatting that highlight important information such as past, failed, and skipped tests. HTML reports there also uh, contain very detailed information, provides detailed information for each test case, including test names, outcomes, durations, and logs. It also can include screenshots, logs, and additional data can be embedded within the report, offering a comprehensive view of the test execution. There's also ease of sharing. HTML reports are easily shareable via email, web links, or any file sharing service, making it convenient for team collaboration and review. They can be hosted on web servers for remote access and continuous integration systems. And then finally is customization. The appearance and content of HTML report can be customized to match your project's branding and requirements. Additional metadata, such as environment details and custom test attributes can be included in the report. So next we're gonna talk about JSON reports. So JSON, uh, PyTest JSON is a plugin for PyTest that allows you to generate test reports in JSON format. JSON reports are structured and machine readable, making them ideal for integration with other tools, further processing and automation in pipelines. So some advantages of JSON uh, reports are first, structured data. JSON format provides a well-structured hierarchical uh, representation of test cases. It's easy to parse and manipulate programmatically using various programming languages. Um, also, JSON reports, um, it's easy for integration with other tools. JSON reports can be integrated with dashboards, reporting tools, and other systems for enhanced visualization and analysis. It's useful for generating custom reports, feeding into analytics platforms, or uh, integrating with test management systems. Also is automation in pipelines. Simplifies, uh, JSON reports simplifies automation by providing a consistent format that can be processed by uh, tools to trigger alerts, generate summary reports, or perform auto, uh, other automated actions. It also facilitates continuous monitoring and reporting of test results in real time. It also provides detailed information similar to HTML reports, but in a different format. So it contains comprehensive details about each test case, including test names, outcomes, durations, and error messages. It also supports embedding additional metadata, such as environment details and custom test attributes. And finally, it's also easy to share. So there's ease of sharing and storing. JSON files are lightweight and can be easily shared or stored for historical data analysis. And it's ideal for maintaining an archive of test results that can be queried or analyzed over time. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how we can run it in our own test. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first, I'm gonna create a separate folder under our test folder right here. So this is a project I had from previously. Um, if you're curious how we got to here, um, I would suggest you go look at our other videos, but it doesn't require knowledge of this other videos to understand today's video. So first I'm gonna create a new directory and I'm gonna call it report. And then under this directory, I'm gonna create some new files. So the first new file is I'm gonna create a Python file and I'm gonna name it test1.py. And so because today's video, what we're mainly focused on is we're focused on how to use PyTest HTML reports and uh, JSON reports. I'm just gonna briefly go over the different uh, tests that we're gonna include in our test. And if you wanna know more about how we came to these conclusions, again, I would suggest you either go to uh, our previous videos or go look at some documentation. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, uh, create some test. So let me go ahead and import some statements so that we have all the packages that we need. So import all the packages that we need. Um, so one of them is PyTestHTML. So that's one thing that we import. 
Um, and then let's uh, also uh, create a fixture, so a PyTest fixture uh, for Chrome. So this basically will allow us to pass this Chrome browser into the other functions uh, later when we do the test and it'll have the Chrome options saved and the different drivers saved. Now let's uh, go to our first test. So in our first test, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, assert the page title on this website. So we're going to visit this website right here. We're going to sleep for two seconds. And then what we're going to do is we're going to assert that the current website title is equal to this and the current URL is equal to this. Now, I, I made it so that this title right here is wrong on purpose. So it should show us that the test failed. Um, so now let's move on to the second test. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy this over. So what this test does is this test goes to this uh, URL and then it fills out the form. So it fills out the name, the email, the phone number, and then it finds the submit button. It fills it in and then it will submit ultimately. And then um, it will basically submit this and see if anything goes wrong. So now I'm going to show you the third function. So the third function, it is our last test. So in this one, what we're doing is we're passing these parameters into uh, this test. And these are basically parameters um, of golf courses that we want to search. So we go to this URL and then we find the search box and the search button. And then we send these golf um, courses and we uh, search for them and we see if anything goes wrong. So those are the three tests in this function. And now we're going to show you how we can create PyTest reports for them. So one thing that we have to do is let's uh, open a new terminal. So I'm going to go here um, and then I will go to go to run. I will go here. I'll open a new terminal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to CD to our folder. So I'm going to CD to the, uh, to the test folder. And then after that, I'm going to CD to the report folder. So once in this folder, uh, a few things that I have to do first is um, one is I have to install um, PyTest HTML. So I just type PyTest, uh, install PyTest uh, And so I have it already installed, so don't have to worry about that. Uh, since I'm ready here, I'm also going to install uh, PyTest JSON, same command and I have installed already, so now I can go ahead and run it. So in order to run this, I have to be in the folder, so report, and then now I can use the command pytest, and then I'll use the, uh, the tag uh, dash dash HTML. I'm going to create an HTML, and I'm just going to tell them what uh, script that we want them to run. So it'll be test1.py. Go ahead and run that. Give it some time to run. Uh, and right now what it's doing is it's basically open these, opening these browsers on my other screen um, and just basically testing all these functionalities. So I'll just maximize it so that it can actually do what it's doing. Um, and you see it's, it's testing all these functionalities, it's saying thank you for submitting. Um, and we'll give it some time to run. Uh, in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... Um, Actually, I'll let it finish running first. And um, give it some time. It's almost done. It has. Um, five tests to run total, and there we go. So we see that it's done running. It says it failed one because we uh, made the search statement wrong on purpose, and it passed four. And it took 62 seconds to run. So let's look at this report that we made. Um, uh, you can open it in your browser. So open in, open in browser, and then let's just use Firefox. And this is the report. So it basically has a table for your different tests. So we see that one failed, and then these four passed. And then it'll tell you a little bit about why it failed. So it's saying that this is the page title we tried to assert, but this is the actual page title. 
So it's saying that there's an assertion error. So that is how you can generate an HTML report uh, with one file. But what if you wanted to generate an HTML report with two files? Well, one thing you can actually do is you can use the same command and then you just press space and then you can uh, press test and then you can enter test2.py. Um, I don't have that here and I'm not going to run it because it takes a little bit of time to run, but I'll actually show you um, an example of that that we've done previously. And so I ran this on my own time previously and I'm going to open it in Firefox. And this is um, basically all of them combined. So if you run multiple different file, uh, files to combine, you can see that it'll just append the different tests here. And we see that our tests from earlier, um, we have those errors and then we ran five tests roughly. And then all the other tests afterwards, that's from a different script. So this is HTML reports and you can see that it's very easy to see. Let me show you how you can run for JSON reports. Um, it's exactly the same thing basically, but the only difference is that you have to use the tag JSON. Uh, so dash dash JSON and then JSON. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do test1.py and then we press enter. And again, it will take the same time to run because it has to run all the different scripts, but the format will be different. So it's almost done running. And there we go. So it finished running and it said that there was two errors. Um, so the second one was a little bit unexpected, but let's just go ahead and see um, what the output file looks like. So I can go ahead and open the output file and we can see that this is what the JSON format uh, will look like. It'll just be uh, consistent of a bunch of different um, keys and values. And so if we go all the way to the right, we will actually see that it contains a bunch of information, but it's just very hard for the human to parse, but for the computer, it's very easy to parse. So for example, if we go to the summary, um, let me see, if we go to the summary, uh, if I just search up summary, uh, right here, uh, if I go here, it'll basically tell you that two tests failed and one passed and the number of tests run and the duration it was run. So you can still parse very, infer, uh, very, infer, uh, very informative information from this JSON file, but it's just a little bit harder for the human to test. Um, and yeah, so this is how you can run uh, using JSON. And again, same thing, if you want to run multiple tests at once, you just add another test script here and it would just generate all the tests in one JSON file. Now, if you found this video helpful, please give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for listening, and we look forward to seeing you next time.